hello everyone in this video i have discussed the introduction of metal carbonyl complexes i started with a basic introduction and then proceed with the classification of metal carbonyl complexes important topics like preparation and reaction of metal carbonyl complexes are also discussed with many example i will share all the remaining topics of metal carbonyl complexes in my upcoming videos if you find my videos helpful then please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get new videos update let's get started metal carbonyls are the transition metal complexes of carbon monoxide in which the central metal is directly bonded to carbonyl ligand through its carbon atom this is why they are also considered as organometallic compound these complexes have industrial applications because of their remarkable catalytic properties let us start with the classification of metal carbonyl complexes well we can classify the metal carbonyl complexes into many categories the first classification is based on the ligand we can classify metal carbonyl complexes into two based on the nature of the ligand mono leptic metal carbonyl complexes in these complexes only carbonyl ligand is present for example iron penta carbonyl hetero leptic metal carbonyl complexes in these complexes more than one type of ligand is present that is beside carbonyl ligand other types of ligand are also bonded to the central metal for example dicarbonyl dinitrosyl iron complexes The second classification is based on the number of metal center. We can classify metal carbonyl complexes into two based on the number of metal center. First one is mono nuclear metal carbonyl complexes. These complexes have only one metal center. For example, iron penta carbonyl. Polynuclear metal carbonyl. These complexes have two or more metal center. For example, dicobalt octa carbonyl complex and cobalt rhenium neonana carbonyl complex the polynuclear metal carbonyl complexes are further classified based on the number of metal center and number of bridge ligands okay let us first discuss based on the number of metal center based on the number of metal center we we can classify metal carbonyl complexes as homo nuclear and hetero nuclear the homo nuclear metal carbonyl complexes have two or more two metal center but are of same type for example dicobalt octa carbonyl complex in hetero carbonyl hetero nuclear complexes we have two or more two metal center but are of different types for example cobalt rhenium nonana carbonyl complex based on the bridge ligand we can classify the polynuclear metal carbon complexes into mu bridging in this type of metal carbon complexes the carbonyl ligand is connected to two metal center for example diiron nona carbonyl complex mu3 bridging in this complexes the carbonyl ligand is connected to three metal center for example carbonyl cyclopenta dienyl iron tetrahedral cluster non bridging or terminal carbonyl in this type of metal carbonyl complexes there are no bridge carbonyl ligand that is only terminal carbonyl ligand are present for example dimanganese deca carbonyl the following stoichiometric diagram shows the bonding involves in polynuclear metal carbonyl complex the next topic is the preparation of metal carbonyl complexes The metal carbonyl complexes can be prepared mainly using five methods. The first method is direct combination. Nickel tetracarbonyl, iron penta carbonyl and dicobalt octa carbonyl complexes can be easily synthesized by the action of carbon monoxide on the finely divided metal at a suitable temperature and pressure. The primary requirement of direct combination is that the metal center must be in a reduced and low oxidation state to facilitate carbonyl binding to the metal center 
through metal to ligand pieback donation. The second method is reductive carbonylation. This method is commonly used for compound having higher oxidation metal center. The reducing agent first reduces the metal center to a lower oxidation state so that the metal facilitate carbonyl binding to the metal center through metal to ligand pieback donation. Many metallic carbonyl are obtained when their salt are treated with carbon monoxide in presence of suitable reducing agent like magnesium, silver, copper, sodium, hydrogen, etc. As you can see in this slide, the salt of vanadium, chromium, iron, molybdenum and ruthenium get reduced to their neutral oxidation state and then form their corresponding mononuclear carbonyl complexes. Now you can see in this slide that a compound of manganese, cobalt, ruthenium get reduced to their neutral oxidation state and then form their corresponding polynuclear carbonyl complexes. Sometimes carbonyl act as a carbonylating as well as reducing agent. The transitions metal from the 4D series can be reduced by carbonyl only when they are in higher oxidation states. For example, the oxidation state of rhenium and osmium in Re2O7 and OSO4 are plus 7 and plus 6 respectively. These oxidation states are quite high and the inert pair effect further favor the reduction in presence of only carbonyl. The metal carbonyl complexes can also be prepared from iron pentacarbonyl. The labile carbonyl groups in iron pentacarbonyl can be replaced by chlorite to give a different metal carbonyl. As you can see, the chlorides of tungsten and molybdenum can react and undergo substitution reaction to form their carbonyl complexes. Okay, the next is photochemical synthesis. It is useful for the preparation of dinuclear carbonyl from mono nuclear carbonyl. When a cold solution of iron pentacarbonyl or osmium pentacarbonyl in glacial acetic acid is irradiated with ultraviolet red light radiations, then the corresponding carbonyl complexes are obtained. Sometimes carbonyl complexes produce even bigger polynuclear carbonyl complexes when heated at higher temperature. The next topic is the reaction of metal carbonyl complexes. The metal carbonyl complexes give a variety of chemical reaction. The first one is substitution reaction. Substitution of carbonyl ligand can be carried out using thermal and photochemical reactions. The ligand like isocyanide, trialkyl, phosphine, pyridine and phenolphthalein undergoes either partial or full substitution reaction as shown here in this example. Okay, let us discuss some more important reactions of metal carbon complexes like reaction with sodium metal. Sodium metal can be used to reduce the metal carbonyls. The chromium and manganese atoms in their zero oxidation state are reduced to minus 2 and minus 1 oxidation states respectively in this example. Next is reaction with halogen. Most of the metal carbon complexes react with halogen to give carbonyl halide. As you can see, the iron and molybdenum carbon complexes undergo partial substitution with halide. Halogen can cause cleavage in the metal-metal bonds in case of polynuclear carbon complexes to give their mononuclear complex. Here a dinuclear complex of manganese decomposed to give its mononuclear complex and the substitution of one of its carbon ligand with a halide also take place. Some carbon complexes undergo decomposition upon reaction with halogen to give their salt. Here nickel and cobalt carbon complexes decompose to give their halide salt. Next is reaction with hydrogen. Hydrogen can reduce some of the carbon complexes to give carbonyl hydride. In the product, the cobalt and manganese carry a uni-negative charge. 
reaction with nitric oxide a number of metal carbonyl complexes react with nitric oxide to give carbonyl nitrosyl the reaction between iron pentacarbonyl and nitric oxide involves the replacement of three carbonyl with two nitrosyl ligand now i end this video here thanks for watching please like and subscribe to my channel see you in the next video of this series